All right, my gorgeous Aquarians, you know I love you. You know you have a special place in my heart. Thank you so very much for liking, subscribing, and sharing. I so, so appreciate you. You guys, you and the gems are like, uh, you come second to the my biggest fans and followers. Thank you so much. I so, so appreciate you guys commenting. Um, so I'm going to do things a little bit differently. This is going to be your love scope, uh, weekend love advice, weekend love horoscope for the week ending in December 4th, 2016. Um, for you guys, for being one of my biggest fans and followers, I'm going to do the 10 card spread and then I'm, I'll post some extra clarifying cards or extra cards to give you a little bit more detail. Um, because I just want to say thank you. So thank you for being patient with me. Thank you for loving me. All right, so this is going to take a little bit longer. So I apologize, but this is the way some people want it. So I'm changing it up a little bit. Cards are way bigger. And I apologize about my hands. I've been doing so much filming and work, my schedule, that I have not been able to get a manicure and I need to go. <laughs> All right, one more time. Let me see. There we go. That's a little bit easier. Okay, here we go, my, my Aquarians. Okay, so, oh, what do we have here? What are you doing? All right, nice. All right. Oh, nice. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. Don't worry, we'll get some clarity. Oh, what do you got? I knew you guys were going to do this. Don't do this. You guys are getting what you want. I know you're overworked and overtired, but listen, you can sleep when you cross over, right? All right, so in your first position, um, look at you, you have the two of cups. This is your stance in love. So if you have not met that person yet, you have the possibility of meeting them. I see it in the fourth position. So um, for others of you, you have met someone and you're going to be spending time with them like now. Like now, so I don't know, the next couple days. Um, this is someone who understands you physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. This is the start. Well, you guys have already met for some of you. But this is growing that bond. Okay, growing that bond together. Um, I see that it's spiritually guided. I see that it's what you're wanting. Um, but what's crossing you, my gorgeous ones, is the Eight of Swords. So Spirit is trying to help you in this situation. They're saying, don't get in your head. Relax. Relax, relax, relax. Okay? Now, some of you, your love has been in your work. And you're thinking that this is just about work for some of you, but it's not. You do have someone coming in. So... Um, take your time with this instead of being overwhelmed by it just take your time and understand that it's part of getting you where you want to go it may not be working out the exact way that you want it but that's okay because sometimes it's better than you want now in your third position what put you in this in this position is the knight of coins so you got an offering of some of you money some of you have contracts, some of you are growing your businesses, and some of you actually had an offering from a new loved one, okay? Whatever this was, um, well, a lot of you received money. Whatever this was put you in this mood to be able to open your heart, okay? Now, in your fourth position, you have the Queen of Wands. So this is the beginning of the weekend. This is someone coming into your life. This is someone to help you either with your business and a lot of you, I keep saying it the same way. They come in in your business. They come in in your work environment, but they become your lover. And eventually that person that you're with for a long time. Okay. 
This is the Queen of Wands, which means they're coming in as a king or queen. But with it being a queen means that they are not necessarily a fire sign, a Sagittarius, an Aries, or a Leo, but they behave as one. So if you think of air and fire together, you sort of make each other bigger. You, you push each other and make each other bigger, and it's very exciting, and it's very fun. So understand you will be spending time with that person this weekend, at the beginning of the weekend, and it looks like this, okay? looks like you'll be bonding with them and some of you it is your work but others of you it is um, a love interest now in your fifth position from your higher self i always ask your higher self what is the one message they want to bring through to help you move forward in love and you have the five of swords so they want to remind you that even though you decided to put love down they heard what you said and it's maybe time to pick it back up okay they also want to remind you to, to rest. You guys have been overworked. You can only go so far. Spiritually, you can go forever. Mentally, you can go forever. But physically, you do have to rest. Okay? So they're saying even though you're thinking about your work and your life purpose and your money and being stable and all that stuff, it may be time to put that down for just a little bit and rest and open your heart so that your loved one can come in. Okay? Now, in your sixth position, at the end of the weekend, you have the Ten of Swords. So, I don't know if you're feeling overwhelmed because of this new person that comes in or if it's because the person hasn't come in yet, okay? And you're thinking, where is this person? And I've worked so hard. So, I am going to pull a card to get some clarification. Yeah, that's what they want you to know. They need you to rest. They need you to relax. They need you not to get so overwhelmed because this is the thing. Because your bodies are so tired, your mind isn't working like it should be working and it's not clear. And then your energy gets all wonky. Is that a word? But that's a word for me. Wonky. And they're trying to keep you clear. Okay? Because those things that you're trying to manifest are coming to pass. But they can't come to you when you're in this energy. You have to be in this energy energy you have to be in they can't come when you're in this vibration or frequency they have to come in this frequency okay so be sure to relax be sure to get some rest be sure to stay open be sure to take some time for yourself now in your seventh position the question i ask is how to what do you need to be reminded of in love to help you move forward and you have the queen of swords so they want to remind you of the decisiveness that you can be, of the way that you can direct thing, of, of things, of the way that you can be brave and courageous, of the way that you can get things done in your life, you can do that in your love as well, okay? You don't have to be in the state, okay? So they want to remind you you're a swords. You're a swords. You're decisive. You're courageous. You've come from a lot. You are not afraid of hard work. Okay, now in your 10th position, I'm sorry, your 10th, in your 8th position, this is the way a loved one will be viewing you or dealing with you. They want to spend time with you. They want to grow. They're ready. See, they've come from a lot too. And they're ready to pick from the fruit. So they want to, they're trying to get to you too. Yep. And then you have the page of coins. So you get news of them. You get news from them. If you have someone that you're dealing with, you're going to a new phase where you can enjoy life again. Okay? Where you can enjoy each other again. This is why the Two of Cups is here. Don't overthink it. Allow this to come in. Okay? Now, in your ninth position, the question I ask is how do you, how do you want or need to be loved? So you want those things that you have prayed for. Those little secret things. Those little, all that energy that you put into, all that work, you want to not just keep it to yourself, but you want to share that with someone. You want somebody to be there and balance this out for you. Okay? That's how you want to be loved. Now, in your 10th position, this is the overall outcome of what you'll be dealing with. You have the Four of Wands. So they want you to know that you're getting, you just got to relax and walk through that door you're getting to a more stable place. All of this work that you've done 
You'll be realizing that by the end of the weekend. I'll pull another card. See, it's all about action and stability. So the Palace of Wands is a mindset. You'll feel and understand that you are on more solid ground, that you are in a more stable, comfortable place, okay, by these things that are going to be happening. All right, so don't overthink it. You got to relax. All right, my gorgeous ones. I love you, love you, love you. Thank you so very much for being my fans and my followers and loving me. You have a very special place in my heart. Bye.